What's up guys? Um, so I have um, the local Ferris dealer bringing by the two Ferris uh, or hurricane blowers because um, the local Billy Goat dealers uh, demos got sold. So I have my truck running because it's freaking cold out here. Um, but I still have the windstorm sitting right here. I pulled it out. Um, and I'm looking forward to running all three of these at once, which will be super awesome. See, I still got the windstorm. I have this until lunchtime today. So I probably got it enough time to go do one cleanup with it. Um, but I'm looking forward to those getting here so that I can have all three of them uh, running at the same time and be able to try them all out. So uh, let's get into the video and I'll uh, make sure to get this when they bring them in so they're on their way here. guys so I want to talk through these two real quick uh, some of the things I like about either one of them I've just run the Ferris for I don't know five or ten minutes and I can already point out some things I like and don't like about it um, one thing I like it definitely has more power than the windstorm I can tell you that much now uh, just by running it uh, my buddy's coming and we can hopefully get some footage running them side by side the Ferris has a 35 carbureted engine um, and it's obviously got a much bigger impeller and um, but the Ferris the operator platform is hot is like solid mount or it's on grommets and it's not nearly as comfortable as the way the skags run so that's a big factor that's going to come into what do I what do I want to uh, purchase I mean you've got your hydraulics up under there but um, that's a big that's going to play a big factor is the fact that that skag is a heck of a lot more comfortable even though the ferris has a lot more power um, but I am impressed with the Ferris. It does have a really good amount of power, um, and I do like how if you look up here, your controls are all in one joystick, and I can actually run it because I'm left-handed. It feels natural to actually run this while running. And like I was saying in the last video with the windstorm, I like how I can step off of this and have one of the chutes open versus I can't on the skeg. But, um, Overall, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's just that comfortability factor is gonna play a big part into this now after running one of these because the feel here at my shop isn't the smoothest thing in the world. Um, but that's really all I can say about it now. I'm gonna run it for a little more. I do like the pivoting front end, that's pretty nice. Um, and it's got a good bit of power coming out of the front uh, of it, but I'm gonna, set the camera down and run this thing for a little while longer because I've only got half hour or so with this uh, to play around with it but um so yeah I'm gonna keep using it keep running it and playing around with it and see what happens
Alright guys, so I am heading from my shop to drop the windstorm off um, back at the dealer and then I've got to come back and get my zero turn. Um, but wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about the Ferris versus Windstorm and which one, based off of what I just tried out there in the field, uh, which one I would end up going with. Um, honestly, I would more than likely go with the Windstorm. Uh, the Ferris ha definitely has more power. Um, that's a given, and I'm not really so worried about the power aspect. Uh, well, y'all really can't see me at all. There we go. Um, I'm not so worried about the power aspect of it. It's more of the comfortability and how I'm going to feel at the end of the day. Uh, the Ferris slash Billy Goat, whatever. The platform on it was just, it was just rigid. I mean, it like I feel like my back is going to scream at me at the end of the day. Um, like I've said both in this video and the previous video, I do like the fact that I can stop the Ferris or Billy Goat or whatever you want to call it, the Hurricane, um, and I can stop the Hurricane and be able to blow into that versus the Skag. I can't, like I said, there's a way I'm sure I can disable it somehow, but, um, I can't. Uh, I, I wasn't able to mess with it that in depth in the demo and it's also going to boil down to price too is going to play a big factor in which one I go with but um, based off solely the ride on them because my shop isn't the most flat ground um, but it's probably some of the most bumpy terrain I would run across uh, it's just the Skag was so much more comfortable because it's built on a V-Ride form versus the um, versus the Billy Goat being just kind of on, it's on a bunch of rubber grommets. I think it's got four rubber grommets on the platform you stand on. Um, but overall, I'm super impressed. It's definitely a consideration uh, for this coming fall having run them both side by side uh, which was nice to be able to do to have my buddy swing by and run the other one because he's also considering one at some point um, but it was it was nice to be able to run them both side by side being able to use them and kind of compare them on one site because I know a lot of people don't get to do that unless their dealer is a dealer for Billy Goat and Skag and you can get both of them to demo at once. So I feel like I was pretty lucky to be able to try that um, and kind of give me some uh, another advantage of trying them both out at the same time to figure out which one I think would be a better fit for me. Um, overall, like I said, super impressed with the both of them. If I had to pick one, I would probably pick the Skag. I think the Skag comes in a price point I've seen it as low as $9,800, um, so I would say anywhere from 10 to 10.5. I think the smaller Hurricane, the I think it's the X3000 or the FB2000, uh, comes in about 11, and then the larger, the Z3000 and the X3000 or the uh, FB3000 come in about 12.5 to 13. Um, now one downfall to the Skag, if I were to go with that, it is the heaviest of them all. So that's one thing I do have to be mindful of. Um, and I didn't notice as much rear wheel spinning uh, when trying to turn on the Ferris as much as I did on the Skag with it. I, don't, I think the weight is distributed across, I guess, the plane of the whole unit from front to back. It's distributed a lot better on the billy goat uh, or the ferris in this case um, and standing behind the wheels you kind of put some weight behind the wheels to counterbalance all the weight on the front and it doesn't quite get that rear wheel spin quite as much um, but like i said i'm overall i'm super impressed with both of them um, definitely going to consider both of them i would probably go with the billy goat just with the normal dealer that I go through um, if I was to go the Billy Goat route 
over the Ferris just because of the dealership that I normally deal with. This was a local Ferris dealer that I haven't really dealt with before, but they had the blower to demo, so I figured I would get it while I still had the Skag. But, um, like I said, yeah, super impressed with it. Uh, I'm really, uh, what was that looking for? But yeah guys, so super impressed with both of those units. Definitely gonna do my research before I buy something like that and spend that kind of money on something. Um, especially as expensive as those are, I wanna make sure I make the right decision and don't really, re don't buy something and then regret and, or wish I had bought the different one. Um, but definitely gonna do my research, reach out to some people who especially run both or own both as well. Uh, to talk to them and see what they think and which one if they could only buy one again Which would they buy so if you've run both of them? Let me know down in the comments which one you would uh, which one you would prefer and which one you would buy um, If if you've run them and then even even then based off of the windstorm video from the other day and the windstorm and Ferris sort of overview test uh, demo video today which one you would buy um, so I look I look forward to hearing from you guys hearing your feedback thanks for watching the video make sure you go rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one